Uh, my name is uh, Mark Harris, uh, the founder of the Inglewood Film Festival, and I'm a filmmaker. I'm the founder of the Inglewood uh, Film Festival is how I'm involved with it, and uh, it's an idea that came about just by uh, taking out different movies to different film festivals. And I came up with the idea of, uh, of about 2006, you know, that I wanted to use this uh, a film festival as an opportunity uh, for the Inglewood community to help and to bring about change. A film festival, I'm a filmmaker, and uh, basically uh, that's my gift and my talent. So I wanted to use my gift and my talent, uh, which is a filmmaker and a writer producer, um, and that's what I know. And uh, I mean, I don't know anything else. I don't know how to uh, uh, form an, an, uh, an organization, and I don't uh, know how to go about doing the marches and asking for grants and all that kind of stuff. I'm a filmmaker, and what better way to uh, present change through arts and culture? Uh, and another thing is based off my study of China, and uh, what, one of the things that changed China was through arts and entertainment. And uh, so if it could change uh, a, a country with two billion people, almost two billion people, why can't it change a community with three to 4,000 people? I think that the festival can improve the neighborhood, uh, basically, uh, again, through arts and entertainment, basically having uh, people come out from different communities, uh, because most of the, the murders are, are, um, are people you know, who know each other or people from different blocks. So uh, if people uh, from these different communities, they come out and they start to mingle with one another, get to know one another, and they watch movies together and go to these different uh, film festivals and these different panels and these different workshops, uh, then they can see a difference, uh, a, a different type of uh, uh, an example of what not to do. So I think that basically using a film festival is, you know, is a definite way to, you know, especially get our youth involved in, in arts, culture, and entertainment, and get the adults involved as well. What I've heard about the uh, Inglewood, I'm from Inglewood, you know, I was born and raised in Inglewood, so, uh, and I've lost friends in Inglewood, you know, coming up, uh, but it was a totally, I mean, I'm 40 years old, and when I was coming up in Inglewood, it's a totally different uh, community than it was uh, now than it was back then. Uh, when I was coming up on 68th and Justine, and 62nd and Laughlin, um, there were parents, there were two, uh, two, there were parents, there were households with two parents in the household. Uh, it was rare that, I've seen, that I would see a, uh, a household that didn't have the, the father present. I was one of the only ones who, in the community that my father, uh, my parents divorced when I was five. And, uh, and so, but everybody else had a, a two-parent household. Uh, you know, I can go places, I was, you know, I remember being 11, 12 years old, I can go anywhere I wanted to in the community and nothing would happen, you know. Uh, the older people, the older teens were protectors, they, you know, they would look, look after us. So it's a different community now than it was before. So, uh, I mean, I witnessed, I, I witnessed the change. Some of the things I've, I've heard about the Inglewood Film Festival is uh, people, a lot of people talk to me. A lot of, I get a lot of feedback. And um, I don't get as much uh, uh, support from the um, political community, uh, from the religious community, and from business leaders. And, uh, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because uh, Inglewood is such a, um, it's like a gold mine like, it's, uh, that's, that like, hadn't been uh, yet discovered. And, uh, and they know this. And so I don't, I, I don't want to accuse these people of not caring about the Inglewood community, but I have to question it when there's something like, an, uh, 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 something like the Inglewood community that's coming to the uh, Inglewood community, uh, how come these people are not supporting us? You know, in the way that I may feel that we need that support. It's not about supporting the Inglewood Film Festival. It's about supporting some, a tool that can be used to change the condition of the people. You know, and um, so I've heard like from, from people that, you know, our motives are wrong for putting on the Inglewood Film Festival. I mean, like, uh, we're doing it for money. And, uh, and I laugh at those things, you know. I, I laugh because um, I have, uh, I make movies and, and uh, I've turned down a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, writing jobs because based off the simple fact that there were subjects I, I didn't want to deal with. So it's never about the money, uh, and it is never about 
uh, I don't have the wrong motives. My only motive is to change the condition of, of the people in the community, in Inglewood community. I can easily, I and mean, I have enough time, I have enough credits as a filmmaker to go off to Hollywood, to live in LA, and to do things in LA, but I decide to, hey, this is my community, I wanna do something in my community, I wanna change the city of Chicago, and I believe that, um, that we can do it right here. Yeah, I heard, uh, I read, uh, and I've seen um, articles that uh, at Urban Prep, which is a um, high school in Inglewood, that 100%, they had 100% graduates. Uh, and I think that's something that people don't look at, that, you know, there's a, a, a a, a high school with all these black children at this high school and is t like been totally ignored. And uh, they tend, to, the media, they tend to dwell on the negative part of in the Inglewood community. Like I, I saw an interview with CBS and uh, with Walter Jacobson and he had all these young black teen, uh, like young black males around a table and these guys said that there's no uh, killing is, 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 is the norm of the day. So if CBS can take Walker, uh, Walter Jacobson and these young black men who are from the street and give them that airplay, why can't they do it with urban prep uh, students? And uh, why can't they do it with uh, a lot of these, all, all these other students who are doing things positive? Why do we have to dwell on the negative aspect of the Inglewood community and not you know, show any, share any light on the positive side of what's going on in Inglewood. There's a lot of positive people who are doing things in the Inglewood community who want to make a change in the Inglewood community. And I think that the media is being unfair. And these images are going all around the world. Uh, that they're showing you know, these young black men as savages. Uh, and, uh, and what I wanna do is, I wanna change that image. I wanna change that image so when you see uh, with images of, of, of men, black men in Inglewood uh, go around the world, these could be images of, you know, what about urban prep? You know, uh, who these guys are going off to college. Uh, but the thing is, is that something has to be put in these young men who are graduating go out, going off to college that when they go off to college, they, they get that education, uh, they become successful, but they come back to their community and they help build their community up. And uh, that's something that we have to put back into these young men who are going off. Well, Bernie Mac, uh, Jennifer Hudson, Derrick Rose, um, we, they're all from Inglewood. We, we all grew up like a mile apart. You know, Derrick Rose, I was on 68th and uh, Justine, Derrick Rose, you know, I mean, Derrick Rose is younger than me, but he was on 71st and I believe Polina. Uh, Jennifer Hudson was on 72nd, like off Lafayette. So we all grew up in Bernie Mac was off 68th in like Sangamon, somewhere around that area. So we all grew up in the same area, in the same uh, community. Janet Hubbard, who's, who played the, uh, the mother in um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, she was on like 58th or 68th, somewhere around that, around that area. So we all grew up in the same area. And I think that says that, uh, any, I mean that, that if you look at the community, of Inglewood, I mean, you have you have to be creative, you know, you have to be creative, because we really didn't have a lot, you know, a lot um, when coming up or when growing up. I remember there were times like uh, um, we had we had a rough, you know, from being with a mother who who worked at the uh, at a hotel and she made a uh, little bit of nothing, but she made it work for us. And uh, I just think that. If you look at these people who are who are making it or who are doing things, uh, who came out of Inglewood, uh, you know, I think that uh, if you, as a collective group, uh, that I think that as a collective a collective group, we can definitely use our uh, financial resources to start reinvesting in the real estate, and reinvesting in in, uh, in stores and. Uh, you know, just to help start building the Inglewood community back up, what it used to be. I mean, reinvesting in opening up cafes. I would like to see Inglewood uh, to be like your High Park or your like your Oak Park. You know, where you can go down, go there, and you can sit in a cafe, nice cafe. Where you can go and you can sit in a, a nice restaurant. Uh, in Inglewood, you only have you know, the restaurants that they give you, or the restaurants that's in that neighborhood in that community. Are all restaurants are, uh, that are not good, that are not, they're not serving good food. Uh, and this also has to do with a lot of crime. You know, the, the bad food, uh, no jobs, uh, but we can't complain about there are no jobs. We can't complain about they're, they're bad, uh, that the food is bad. 
uh, because there's enough money uh, that, that, it, that people are making in the community that if you just pull your resources together, you can start a cafe. You can start a nice restaurant. You know, we can't depend on uh, out, any outside forces to do what you must do for yourself. Five years from now, uh, as a result of the Inglewood Film Festival, festival, and as a result of me as a filmmaker, period, like doing my movies and uh, doing more bigger budget Hollywood films, uh, I'm gonna use my resources, and I'm putting this on tape. <laughs> I'm gonna use my resources, and I'm gonna use uh, the money I make, and I'm gonna reinvest it back into the Inglewood community. Now, right now, I'm trying to, uh, I'm looking to open up a theater in the Inglewood community, community because there are no theaters at all. Uh, when I was growing up, we had about 16 theaters. So I didn't have to go out outside of Inglewood to go to, a, go, go to see a movie. I didn't, go, I didn't have to go out outside of Inglewood to go skating or do a lot of things. You know, Those things were right here in the Inglewood community. Uh, right now, where, where, we're, where we're filming at, at WYCC, I used to, as a young boy, I used to, uh, this very block, you know, it was like a nothing but stores, and I used to walk through these blocks, and I used to go shopping here, and uh, those were great memories for me. So I want to start building those things back up uh, with the resources that I have, uh, and just reinvest. I want to open a cafe. I want to, uh, I want a school. You know, I want to do. I want to have uh, a school where, like Magic Johnson, is opening up a school where you know these young teens who are, who are dropouts can go. And, and they can get an education. Those are some of the things I want to do right here in Inglewood. And hopefully that this same mentality can bleed to other communities as well.